Hi, uh, Your Excellency, Dr. Uh, Tony Tan. This is Erman from APU. Indeed, I think uh, you are our, our world-class asset uh, because you have been in politics as well as you have handled our finance before. Probably you are the most qualified person to address uh, our concerns. In the last watershed election, people were saying that perhaps Singapore society is... Uh, uh, you must make a question, not yeah. a statement. Okay, okay. Uh, Singapore society is going for a change uh, in uh, this watershed uh, election. As the previous, uh, deputy, prime, um, previous uh, deputy prime minister, how will you build this election that we had before? And what sort of lesson do you think Singaporeans can learn from it? And what do you see are those strengths that Singaporean has shown itself or weaknesses? And perhaps like yourself, you know, what advices will you give to us or even to Singapore governments that how we can embrace this come forward change that it seems to affect everybody here, including a, a humble businessman like myself. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a couple of questions in there, but I think Dr. Tan, you know where it's coming from. Uh, I would say overall, and uh, now speaking as a private citizen, mm -hmm. and my own view is that uh, the previous, uh, the last uh, general elections in May gave rise to what I would call a win-win-win result. Uh, first, of course, it was a win for the PAP. They got 81 out of 87 seats, elected seats. So they have a strong mandate which can build on uh, to frame policies and implement them uh, to continue Singapore's progress and to improve the lives of Singaporeans. This is what the job of a government is all about. So that's the first win. The second win is the opposition. Uh, particularly the Workers' Party, who won uh, six out of uh, six elected seats, including one GRC. They now have a base which they can build on uh, to further their aspirations, increase their credibility with the public, gain more influence, possibly even gain more votes at the next uh, elections in 2016. So that's progress. But most important of all, uh, it is a win for Singapore. Um, if you look at the results of the election, it is a st another stage of our political development uh, as a country. Analysts, political, political analysts, I think, were the field day discussing the elections and what it means. But I think that uh, the uh, situation where you have one overwhelming, uh, you know, party, uh, which has almost all the seats, with little effective opposition, which we had for many years. My own view, and I stress that this is a personal view, I think that uh, that is a matter of the past. Just as many economists and investors think that there's a new normal now in the economy, I think there could be a new normal in Singapore politics now which is of a strong party in government, which is able to frame policies and implement them, but which is matched by an effective opposition in parliament, which will debate these policies, which uh, different perspective, different views suggest alternatives. And in that way, through the process of debate, discussion, challenge, I think that we will result, we'll end up with better policies for the good of Singapore. What is important is not which side you take. Of course, the government will have their views, the opposition will have their views, 
But so long as these views are expressed in a way and with the intention of arriving as what is best for Singapore and what is most beneficial for Singaporeans, I think that the net result of all of this is a net plus for Singapore and I think will improve the lives of Singaporeans. So in that sense, it is a watershed election because I think it changes the complexion of Singapore politics uh, for many years to come. It was a hard-fought election. Both sides uh, strenuously uh, pursued their programs and uh, I want to congratulate all those who succeeded in winning seats, both the PAP as well as the opposition. Now uh, all of us must wait till Parliament is convened and then uh, we will see them debate policies uh, uh, in the coming years. Uh, and I think that that is something we should all pay attention to.